Okay, so today I am going to share with you how we do chores. I have a morning tidy, a lunchtime tidy up, and an afternoon tidy up. But how do we keep up with chores for the whole house? So tidying up every single day helps. But what about the dusting and the vacuuming and the cleaning the bathrooms and the deep, deeper cleaning? I really don't like to save that stuff for the weekend, although sometimes it's just inevitable. Here's the key to keeping a clean house. Invite people over. <laughs> My husband and I always joke around that, oh, we should invite people over more often because every time we do, the house gets cleaned up. That is actually not a bad strategy, but you can't, I mean, I can't invite people over every single weekend. So what else do we do? On Thursday night, we have planned what we call the family power hour. So either before or after dinner, depending on when we can do it. Cause I mean, if we've got dinner cooking where I'm just waiting for the oven to go off or something and we can do it then, then we set a timer and we all get together and we know what chores were supposed to be done or the kids can come to me and ask what they need to be done. And for an hour, and that's it, we do our chores. Now, the problem with time boxing it is, <laughs> leave me a comment below if you have a child like this. Okay, <laughs> my middle child, anytime there is work to be done, she all of a sudden has to go to the bathroom and she disappears in the bathroom for a ridiculous amount of time. So so that's the only thing with time boxing is she's gonna wait it out and try to get over the chores. So with her, she's gotta be given a certain amount of choice, chores that she has to get done within that hour. But everybody else, we all, especially my son, my husband and I, we all like a clean house. And my youngest actually, is showing tendencies towards the same way. Hallelujah, she knows how to put things away. So some children are just more prone to neatness and cleanliness. So I'm gonna show you kind of the chore charts that we use, and I'm gonna show you how I keep track of what needs to be done each and every week. In my mind, it's pretty simple, so you'll have to let me know if you think it's simple. So let's go. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, my name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooling mom of three. I have a first grader, a fifth grader, and an eighth grader, and we are on our sixth year homeschooling. So we have always tried different things for chores. There have been some things that have worked and some things that haven't worked. There are certain things that the kids need to get done to be a part of the family, to be a part of our team, to contribute to the household so they don't get rewarded for doing everyday responsibilities. However, I do wanna reward diligence. I wanna reward doing extra or going above and beyond, or if they would like to earn money or whatever because they're saving up for something, I wanna provide those opportunities for them. So I do reward consistency. My oldest son is motivated by money because he likes expensive toys that I'm not going to buy. He has bought expensive drones, he's bought expensive remote control cars, um, and he recently purchased himself an Xbox. He's, he's motivated by money. So one year, one of our chore systems was, if you do all the things on your daily chore list, I would pay you like 50 cents a day. Okay, so that's not really a lot of money, right? But what I'm rewarding is over time, I'm rewarding consistency. And my son did not mind doing his daily chores every day and kept track of how much money he earned. And at that point in time, I even had a little chart for him that said, okay, here's how much money you've earned. Here's how much you need to tithe. So I let him learn about tithing his money. Here's how much money you should probably set aside out of all this to buy gifts. I make my children pay for their own gifts that they give to each other. So when it's birthday time, they buy the birthday gift for their sibling. Same thing for Christmas. I don't give them money for that. That's the money that they have earned. So another reason why I don't mind giving money out in very minuscule amounts, mind you, for chores because they're gonna spend it <laughs> all 
on each other or they're going to have to save for a very long time to purchase something that they want anyway. So anyway, I just say all that to, to let you know that I did use that opportunity to teach them about tithing, about gifting to others, and about savings. So keep that in mind if you wanna use money as a reward. Now I wanna show you how we do our system. Okay, so if you have seen my planner video, you know that I have a master list of chores in here chore list so right there and here's what i'm going to use this for each of my children have this chore chart it is for the entire month so november days 1 through 30 i grade out the weekends or the days the non-school days that doesn't mean that they won't do chores this is for the sole purpose of our homeschool daily chores so on this list, there is, these are the things to be done daily. Everything underneath this black box, okay? So these are the morning chores. Get dressed, make your bed, brush your teeth, brush your hair, put your laundry away if there's any laundry to be put away. Pick up your bedroom and get your water bottle for school. And then I may add something else on there. And that's what I'm gonna get to. And then, this chunk right here is kind of their afternoon section. So whatever I've assigned here, whatever I've assigned here, and then your things away. So they need to walk through every room in the house and make sure they have all of their things put away. They need to have all their homework done. And then these bolded things here, are they're not gonna get a consequence if they don't get this done, but this is kind of on there to start teaching them about habit tracking and paying attention to this stuff. So did they get any exercise today? Because sometimes they whine a little bit if I say, you guys need to go outside and jump on the trampoline or do this and that. Oh, but it's too cold. So I want them to get sweaty exercise. If we're not formally doing exercise, that's what I mean by this. Did they eat fruit? Did they eat a vegetable? Did they drink their whole bottle of water? So I'm trying to teach them about drinking water, okay? and this is their habit tracker. So on November 2nd, they can check off, they got all these things done, okay? And then, if they've gotten all the things done and I approve it, they will get a reward ticket. This is how we're doing this right now. I, I bought raffle tickets from Amazon and I am handing the raffle tickets out like it's money. That way, they have to keep track of it. And two, if they lose it, it's a raffle ticket. If I give them actual money and they lose it, that's when I, that's, I don't want that. So I'm giving them raffle tickets. And also so that they don't steal the raffle tickets from each other or they don't find my stash and steal it, I write who it's to on the back and I sign it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little endorsement. This is your ticket and I have approved it and then so on and so forth. They also do not get any screen time unless all of these boxes are checked off. So then once a week, they have a once a week task or chore that's assigned to them. That So within this week, they have to do it at least once and then vacuum your bedroom once a week. And then they have a once a month task. So change your bed sheets may be more frequent than that. And if it, if it happens, they're gonna mark it off anyway. But if they never got changed and I never see or through the whole month, at least I have it marked off because some of my children do their own laundry. And so I just wanted to put that on there to make sure that gets done. Dusting their bedroom once a month. Again, if I see it, the dusting in their room going out of control, they may do it more frequently if I tell them to, it just depends. And then dusting their own bathroom. Oh, and then they have a monthly chore that they're assigned to. So for the weekly chores, they might, do those during our family power hour or if they have extra time during the lunch tidy or the afternoon tidy then they can do it then same thing with this but it's for them to track so this needs to have at least one checkbox across the whole month this needs to have check boxes at least once a week and then this these need to have daily check boxes to be rewarded so this is their own little chore chart their habit tracking chart my son loves this chart so if you have a child who loves 
check boxes and love, loves to be organized. My son loves this. And he loves that his chores are the same for the whole month. So in the past, I would change the chores weekly and that actually became a little bit too much for even me to manage. If you keep the chores the same over the course of the month, it actually helps them become more efficient by the end of the month but without changing it. What they're gonna be assigned to, this is when my master list is going to come in handy. This is just a reminder to me what they're supposed to do every day. So it's like my own list. So it has, this really isn't relevant for this particular list. Assigned morning chore. I have emptied the dishwasher, sort the laundry, and make the guest bed. So that assigned morning chore will be on each of my children. So like last month, my son was empty the dishwasher. And then my daughter, my middle child was sort the laundry and my youngest was make the guest bed. So then this month we will rotate that so they can do something new. The afternoon chore, put away your own things. Um, the things that are on the stairs, if, if you guys, do you guys have that tr problem? I put things on the stairs, which means take it up and people walk past it constantly. Okay, so assigned afternoon chore. See how this section is white? And this space is white. See how that works? So I choose one of these and I put it in this spot for, per child. The blue tasks I put in this spot per child. And then I can assign for these months who was assigned where so I know, you know, who's done what. So I can mix it up. So one of the children will be assigned to help mom with dinner prep. Maybe one will be set the dinner table and one will be every day to clean out the van because man, if we don't keep on track on top of that daily, sometimes it's just ridiculous how much our van gets. So I figure if it's a daily task, then it will stay clean. And then this rotating chore here. So my son maybe load the dishwasher this month, maybe next month it'll be clean up the lunch dishes. These are just small tasks, but this is for the afternoon tidy here, okay? So I only have three children, so that means the rest of this is going to fall on me, which is fine. Or it's going to fall on, it's not going to get done, I guess, <laughs> which happens too. once a week tax tasks these are the once a week tasks that are to be assigned so maybe um, my son will be dust the kitchen and again this is the probably a family power hour task so when we do our Thursday family power hour if they didn't get their once a week task done we'll this is when I'm going to kind of loop this so when we're doing an hour Okay, I'm gonna dust the kitchen, you dust the living room, my husband will dust the dining room and office, my youngest will dust the basement living area, and my middle child dust the basement office, and then when you get that done, come back and we'll figure out where we are in this list. And we're gonna to try to get as much of this done in that hour, but if all of us are doing it, it shouldn't be an issue at all. But we also need to go through this list. So a little bit less frequently, I'm thinking this should be the whole family power hour, that must have been mistake okay and then mom's once a week weekly tasks these are the things that I need to plan for for our school or for our home so I just made myself a little list here so I hope that was helpful for you if it was give me a thumbs up share this video leave me a comment below if you have any tips for how to maintain your home and I will <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.